Hey everybody, this is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living. I run a website called storemusic.com and today I would like to show you vintage buffet saxophone resonators. Um, the resonators themselves look like this on the earlier ones and like this, which is basically a flat washer, on the later ones. So like this, like this. And these have a larger screw head that holds them on. Um, this is an earlier one. You've got a spud soldered into the key cup. You've got the screw that screws in, and the resonator goes there, and that screws in. And then when it's installed, it looks like this. Now, these resonators cover up, as you can see, a very large percentage of the pad. Um, it is very important before you install them to have your tone holes be level, your pad cups be um, even and level relative to the tone hole uh, because you barely have any room to move the pad, uh, if at all. Um, the actual, you can see here, this has a little bit of green stuff in the back of the pad cup. Uh, the pad has just come out of this a little while ago. There was actually no adhesive of any kind in there. It was just screwed in with the resonator holding the pad in and then the pad was or the key cup was bent in order to make the pad seat. So that is vintage buffet resonators with the originals. The earlier ones you've got this spud soldered into soft soldered into the back of the key cup. You can actually unsolder this, although usually you'll end up with um, lacquer burn, like someone did this one. I don't know if you can see the lacquer burn there. Um, it's difficult to get these out without burning the lacquer because the lacquer is so delicate on these older ones. The more recent buffets that have integrated resonators will actually have like a threaded um, rod silver soldered into the back and then you've got a screw head with like a, a bolt that looks like a screw head that screws into it, holds this down onto the path. And I'll show you actually you need On the later ones, because you've got that threaded rod that comes up and then basically a bolt that uh, has a flat head um, notch in it that you screw in, you need a special tool, which I made, hopefully you can see what that looks like, um, with a notch in the middle so you can screw and unscrew with the spindle in the middle. So that's what you use to install uh, the threaded screw nut, I guess, on the uh, threaded rod. And this is with the earlier ones. These just use regular, very small screws um, that you can use a regular flathead for. So there you have it. There are original buffet saxophone resonators. Um, they're a bit difficult to work with because they don't leave much room uh, for the pad to flow. You have to be very diligent, very careful, and you have to do pretty much a perfect job. Otherwise, it won't feel very good. Um, but removing them can be difficult because you might burn the lacquer on the earlier ones. On the later ones you can pretty much snip out that little threaded rod if you want. Um, but I'm usually a fan of keeping things original. But it doesn't make it any easier on the actual pad job. Okay, hope that was interesting. My name is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living. Today I was showing you vintage buffet resonators of one of two types. This is the dome, slightly dome type. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave me a comment underneath this video or send me an email or get in touch some way if I can be of any service saxophonically. All right, thanks for watching.